Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Out. This is your host, Frank the Vamp, and pardon the light, but there is a reason to my madness, okay? There are four movies left for my top 10 movies of 1983. Out of these four movies are ghost stories. And tonight's review is certainly one of the scariest ghost stories I've ever seen. So come a little bit closer. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. There you go. That way I don't have to yell too much. We don't want to wake the dead. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit here. The movie tonight's movie is one of the scariest movies I ever seen. In fact, it's one of the earliest scariest movies I've ever seen. Got to see this on TV and um, I remember not being able to sleep for nights and nights. You know, it was it took me a while to really dig digest this in. The movie we're talking about is The Changeling. 1980 George C. Scott masterfully um, does what he always did, which is act amazing, you know. George C. Scott, an actor who, you know, very famous for his portrait of uh, General Patton and uh, on film and uh, many other great ones. Um, when I see him, another great movie people don't talk about us, a movie called Hardcore. Check it out if you can. But I'm a fan of all his work. But The Changeling, oh man, that's a good one. The story takes talks about the character of George Scott um, after his wife and daughter um, die, uh, go through a horrible um, accident which they perish um, and he's left all alone, very sad, moves away from New York City and goes all the way to Washington State. Uh, in Washington uh, he moves to this house and uh, which um, I, I don't know, I, I mean, we see it in movies and and we've seen people who have uh, uh, who have been through a traumatic experience that are close, that, that some people may have passed away, become more sensible, more um, perceptive of the other world. And what happened is that, um, yeah, it, it becomes... Um, very, how can I say, um, he becomes, um, you know, he begins to see signs of a hunting here in the house and, and um, he confronts the ghost of a young boy uh, who wants to communicate a particular truth uh, of how he died and he wants uh, George, George Scott's characters to intervene um, and uh, you know how you know he, he goes and dresses all the mystery and the outcome of it I'm going to keep it a secret because I want you guys to watch it it's really intriguing, it's a mystery um, I love the atmosphere of the house the wheelchair, the, the, you know, antique wheelchair uh, of this young boy who passed away that used to be crippled and, and the old ball he played with and, 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 and the sounds. I mean, these, these are one of the scariest things. There's no jump scares, hardly. I mean, there might be one may count as jump I don't think it even count as a jump scare when, when the uh, there's a mirror that cracks but it kind of startles you but 
the rest of the movie is just atmosphere and you know going through the sands and just seeing and, you know the pain of this ghost trying to communicate with George Scott and George Scott's terrified look and how his family's demise kind of really wants to help this ghost have closure and um, it's, a, it's fantastic the acting the atmosphere everything about it um, it's one of my favorite ghost stories of all times Peter Menak uh, directs and uh, we have great writers here with Russell Hunter, William Sadie and Dan Maddox who obviously were in sync and understood what needed to be done so very subtle very nice uh, very amazing story great acting great directing all around I can only say this is one movie you shouldn't watch alone and in the dark and look at me I'm all alone in the dark that's just how I like it stay tuned because out of uh, there's three more movies left and two of them are gonna be ghost stories so sweet dreams and see you in the next video subscribe subscribe subscribe